Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to embellish another painting. This was a little 6x6 six six canvas. Um, it was a pour over. I had done something crazy and swiped it, or just, just, yeah, just swiped it off and let it sit for months and then came back. And I think this was a flip cup with primary colors. So we're going to embellish this. Uh, this will be another doily. Um, embellishment. Uh, last time I just kind of laid it on top and then spray painted it outside. Um, this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. You didn't get to see that because that was part of the video bundle that got deleted. Um, you did see the after part of that. I don't know where the painting is now. Oh, here it is. And then we also embellished it further. This was our original one. So it was a little foggy because of how it doesn't like lay flat. You can see maybe. <laughs> um, and so in an effort to not have that, to have it set evenly on the canvas and get very stark lines where all of these little cutouts are and on the edges, I'm going to try to glue it down. And I've thought and thought and thought and thought about this. <laughs> And then I remembered I have this Elmer's Craft Glue that's repositionable glue. Um, I bought this for a project um, where I was making like a daily calendar, like a countdown calendar. Um, or like, you know, those ones that you may set on your desk and it's like every day you pull one off and it has some inspirational saying or something on it. Uh, I wanted to create my own, so that's when I found this. It, it, I was looking for some kind of glue that kind of worked like a sticky note glue. And this seemed to work pretty well. Um... I'm happy I remembered this because I didn't want, I don't want to ruin the painting, but I'm going to have to put an adhesive onto the painting in order to, to do this. So I'm hoping that this will work. If not, it's just a small six by six canvas and it's a great experiment. Um, but what I want to do here is I'm going to take this glue and make sure that it's actually, yeah, make sure that's actually still good because it's been quite a while since I've used this. And I'm just going to put glue all over the edges and a little bit in the middle. I'm not as concerned about the middle because really we just need the edge of the middle to be down because there's no other cutouts anywhere else on here. Um, now that I'm doing this, I am a little nervous that there may be uh, some faint wax in between on the design. So I'll have to play this part by ear, see what happens. Hopefully I'm all in frame here. <laughs> Let's see. And then the other thing is that this has to sit on the canvas for a little bit because the spray paint will be wet. And so I didn't want anything that was going to be like super like sticky because then it either won't come off or when it does come off it'll leave like paper. Like it'll stick to it. So we're going to take this outside and spray paint it and then we'll come back whenever it's dry enough for me to peel this off. It actually seems that this little edge right here is coming off the edge. So that will actually be a really good area to peel it off. We're going to go ahead and go outside and spray paint this. It will be with the Krylon Cherry Red. I think it'll complement the other colors that are hidden right now pretty well. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> and so we'll be right back and you'll see me spray it. And then after that, we'll come back and peel the doily off and see the final result. So, see you in a bit. Actually, it was going this way because here's our little lip. So moment of truth and just off the top I can see some of the paint still through here and it seems since this is a paper doily that once I spray paint it it kind of wrinkles up because of it getting wet so even the glue I don't I think it helped but I don't think it's foolproof yet so we'll go ahead and see what we get here it's been about 20 minutes so it's still a little sticky but 
not too bad. And this seems to be pulling off just fine and I don't really feel any uh, paint or any glue residue here. It is still a little wet where it was in like the little holes. Um, I can see that the paint's a little bit more vibrant there. But here, let me bring you in for a close up. And just a tip here, guys, if you don't have your phone or computer brightness up, go ahead and turn it up because it does impact how you see these colors. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's still very vibrant, a little bit of bleed through there, not too worried about it. There are some spots where it's still a little fuzzy, not too sharp of lines, but I'm not really too concerned with it. It was just another option to see how it worked and if that is something you're concerned with. I do think I will want to embellish this one again. It just kind of makes a perfect little display right here, so I'll probably end up um, embellishing something like I did last time with the butterfly. I'll show you again real quick. That really pretty butterfly on there. And so I'll probably need to find some red, something red to complement, and something that's normally a red color. Butterflies are kind of uh, unique because you can pretty much make them any color. Uh, so if you have any ideas on what to embellish on here, leave them in the comments below. I'm not really sure at this point. I do want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do it makes you happy.